Hello and welcome to Power and Purpose. I am Mastin Kip and I am so thrilled to be back on video with you. I have completely dropped the ball the last few months because I've been in major transition away from the Daily Love brand and into launching MastinKip.com, which will be up very soon. And that transition has just been very difficult to film videos, but I promise you I'm back and there's gonna be a lot more videos coming your way. All right, today I'm coming to you from one of my favorite places in the world, Lumeria, Maui. And um, today I wanna talk about this idea. Love is greater than kale. Now what does that mean? I posted on social media recently this idea that spirituality has nothing to do with green juice or mala beads or lululemons or kale or whatever it might be. Spirituality is a measure of how loving you are. And there were a lot of comments of like, well Mastin, you know, your mind body temple is what matters and you gotta take care of your body and that's very spiritual. And the answer is, of course you have to take care of your body. Of course we wanna nourish our body with good foods. I'm not anti mala beads or Lululemon. I'm wearing Lululemon shorts right now. However, it's really important to understand that the most important part of the spiritual journey, the most important part of your personal growth is not how you adorn yourself. It's not in the stuff that you have or who's on your bookshelf. The most important part of your spiritual journey and your personal growth is how loving you are in your actions, how loving you are towards yourself, how loving you are and connected with your higher power, and then how loving you are in the world. And what I've seen, if I'm just being honest with you, is that there's a lot of people out there who think spirituality is you know, their, their pants, their books, their green juice, their kale, whatever it might be, and it seems to be a really trendy thing, but the question is, what are the intentions behind your choices? Why do you really do what you do? What is the ulterior motive that you're having in why you adorn yourself this way? And so, you know, I would rather, I always say this, I would much rather hang out with like a meat-eating trucker who's like on the opposite side of the aisle politically than I am, who acts in a loving way, than, you know, sort of the typical sort of, you know, spiritual, you know, looking person who maybe is judging you because, you know, you eat meat. And I'm not against vegans or anything like that. But the idea is, I just see this trend happening in our space where we seem to think that we're spiritual because of what we wear or what we have or what we drink or what we consume, if there's coconut water in it or not, or raw almond butter, whatever it might be. And all that stuff is great. You gotta take care of your body. I am on a consistent health um, and wellness uh, mission to take care of my body. But my number one intention is, and I don't always get it right. I, I mess up a lot, but my number one intention is, how can I be loving in this moment? How can I remain approachable? How can I remain present? And how can I remain detached from the outcome and try to keep a bigger picture in mind that even when things aren't going the way I want them to go, maybe there's a higher power, a greater perspective that's organizing things in a way that's for my best interest that I cannot yet see. And so, you know, this is not a diss on any of the spiritual garb, but it is a reality check. If you're adorning yourself with all the stuff if you're reading the books, but your action and your intention is not backed up, if you're judging other people because they don't know who Wayne Dyer or Deepak is, you know, and you think that they're not spiritual, it's time to check yourself. Look at your intentions. Are you acting in a loving way? Are you able to accept life on life's terms? You know, Yogi Bhajan, one of my teachers, has a great quote about this. He says, if you can't see God in all, you can't see God at all. And so this is just you know, my message for you today. My hope is that you know, maybe I push your buttons a little bit or maybe you're laughing right now or maybe you're saying, Mastin, oh my God, that's so true. Whatever it might be, just think, what are the intentions of your actions and how can you bring more love, more tolerance, more compassion, more empathy for yourself, for your higher power and for others into your life? And from that place, from that place, everything else is possible. So that's really you know, a question that I have for you. So down in the comments below, let me know. How can you bring more love for yourself into your life? More love and connection to your higher power. How do you feel connected to your higher power? And how can we be more loving and more tolerant of others, especially in this crazy election cycle time? You know, people are unfriending people left and right on Facebook because they believe opposite stuff. And I think that's kind of crazy. Anyway, leave a comment and let me know. And as always, remember that if you are interested in, you know, more updates from me, information about other blogs, our podcasts, all our social media information, all information about our retreats and seminars all over the world, 
head on over to mastonkip.com and come on our newsletter and we would love to give you all kinds of inspiring stuff in your inbox. I promise I won't waste your time there. All right, until next week, remember, love is greater than kale. Get out there, take action, and make it real. We'll see you next week.